Hello viewers, uh, this video I'm going to be uh, showing a little bit of stuff to do with uh, head tracking and using a uh, stick and throttle in Star Citizen. I've already spawned a ship so we're going to head right on down there and get into this. I believe it was hangar 3. It was not Hangar 3. Why is it not giving me the number? It was Hangar 2. Okay, so head tracking I don't have turned on for FPS stuff. I find that it's uh, ac or awkward to uh, try to aim. However, as soon as I sit down in the pilot seat, uh, it'll activate. I'm using Track IR, although you can also use uh, web cameras. Uh, you can use uh, Toby Eye Tracker, and you can use uh, um, uh, like free track stuff like that. Okay, so as I uh, look around inside my ship, I'm not doing this with the mouse. I'm doing this just by uh, moving my head around, and it allows you to get uh, very good uh, situational awareness. So we'll start the ship up, and we'll take off. There we go. You are clear to launch. And that was all mouse uh, operation to get to that point. Uh, from here on, I'll be using the uh, the stick and throttle. I've also got rudder pedals, but you can get by with the twist axis on most uh, new joysticks. Now, as you can see, even though uh, I've got the um, speed limiter set uh, just under the SCM, I can still do fairly precise movements uh, when I'm taking off out of the uh, hangar. Unlike using a mouse, it's not all twitchy where you're trying to follow the mouse pointer. That little X-shaped icon in the center of the screen is the, uh, the velocity indicator. Thank you. And you can see that I can make uh, nice smooth uh, movements with it. Oh, I don't want to fly into that. And now we'll go into cruise control, which is what you would normally use for your, uh, your flight mode. And once you're in cruise control, your, uh, or rather my throttle lever, uh, then simply becomes the, uh, the throttle. And uh, if I kick out of cru cruise control, I, I use the Thrustmaster 16000. And it's got a paddle on the front of the throttle indicator that I can use for straight forward and straight back. So that allows me to uh, turn off the cruise control and uh, then use like uh, momentarily activated uh, throttle. So I would use this for docking or for any kind of precise movement. There's also a uh, four-way analog stick on the front of the, uh, the throttle that I can use for uh, strafing up and down on side to side and by setting your control curves you can actually get very accurate movements uh, and be very precise with this and of course yaw is side to side on my stick pitch is forward and back on the stick And when you use that in conjunction with your head tracking, it uh, allows you to uh, fly with a lot of precision. This is strafing down while I'm turning. Strafe to the side a bit. 
stop strafing and let it uh, straighten its velocity out along the uh, axis we're facing. And that's yaw in conjunction with side strafe. A little afterburn to bring us around a little quicker. The VTOL control uh, gives you manual control of the wings under Reliant. While the landing gear puts the engines into uh, the vertical configuration and puts the gear down. When you turn off landing gear though, it'll automatically switch to the uh, vertical wing. Oh, apparently it doesn't. The first time you do it, it'll switch to the vertical wing configuration. And as you can see, you get great visibility on the uh, Reliant. So it uh, really works well with the uh, combination of the stick and throttle and uh, the head tracking. I really do have to uh, map the uh, ATC command to the uh, stick at some point. Proceed to sign landing bay. Okay, so we'll make sure the gear is down. Landing gear down. And you can tell uh, whether the wing is in the horizontal or vertical configuration with the Reliant by whether this uh, co pilot seat is beside you or underneath you. I strafe to the side as you can see from the velocity indicator. Use a little bit of rudder to line up with the hangar. At this point I go off for of cruise control and I just go to using the manual movement. For my forward and backward I mean. And that's it, we're down. And as soon as I get out of the pilot seat, I no longer have the, uh, the head tracking activated. Once again, that's an option, but your problem is that uh, if you're off center with your head tracking, uh, and there is a button to, uh, to recenter it, but if you're off center with the head tracking and you can't figure out why you're moving forward but your character is running diagonally, that's probably exactly what it is. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. It was just a short little demonstration of uh, how head tracking and a stick and throttle work for uh, flying and, fl and star citizen. 
Uh, so we'll call it and uh, leave that until the next one.